Do I have smell today, Si? Hey, I got no hey, pit you stains. You would have to ask someone that's got a good sniffer. Yeah, Si sniffer ain't worked in so, two hey, years. Yeah, hey, look, I don't, you know, now my wife would tell you if you walked in the room, you need to take a shower. <laughs> you know, that's why when people say, hey, you need to bathe. I said, hey, no, nah, that dog won't hunt, son. Because I live with a woman that's got a nose. You know, she's got a better nose than a dog. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. What does it mean? Yeah, B.O. bothers you. This is a wrong bunch to be oh, yeah, running yeah. around here. Oh, yeah. Because Phil Robertson. <laughs> well, hey, the man don't let wash his hunting clothes. Or his body. Never. Well, you know why? Well, I, I don't know about that. I just know <laughs> well, his hunting clothes do not get washed. Well, you know, Si, you, you know why he don't wash his hunting clothes? He said that if you wash them during hunt season, they're not as warm. That and they'll flare the birds, and it and it fades the camo. <laughs> so ah, I was like, "How would that flare burn?" Oh, oh it flare goes. Hey, that's camo. big talk coming from a man with a white beard. <laughs> 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 that's moss, sir. Yeah, I, I understand. Well, according to him, he don't ever flare it up. Oh yeah, that was a good one that day. <laughs> but Phil wore a light gray. <laughs> A light gray. I, it, uh, it was by near white. Oh, it, it was okay. real close to white. It, wow. it was close to white. Real close. So well, it may have been a hint of gray in it, but no. <laughs> this sucker was white. Of course, he's sitting on the end of the blind down there watching it. Uh, Wide it, open. It, you know, by the time the sun got up where everybody could see, Jace looked down there and said, He said, I guess white's in now. Yeah, or said, camouflage is an option. Yeah, that's what he said. Yeah. He said, I guess camouflage <laughs> these days is optional. <laughs> well, I never forget. What was that? Probably uh, six years uh, ago, five, six years ago, I showed up on opening day. Ready. You know, it's opening day. You ready? It's kickoff. Yep. And I look over and Phil's wearing a red flannel. And I'm like, oh, yeah. Boy, we have. We have come a long way. He's wearing a red flannel. You felt like you was in Minnesota. And face paint on. And I'm like, but part of this don't go together. Yeah. Like, yeah, what's, wrong, what's wrong with this picture, picture? Now, granted, if you sit in the middle of Phil Robertson's duck blind, you could wear an all-white painter suit, and you ain't going to flare nothing. Because not only can they not see you, you can't see them. Yeah. So, But on the end. Uh, oh, yeah. You kind of wide open on the end. I'm the only one that can say something and get away with it. Yeah. And I always do. Because, <laughs> hey, every time I get in the blind on my spot, I got a stone. Let me see your saw. I've got to cut just where I can stick my gun barrel out. Okay? And then they said, hey, but what are you doing? You flared that punch. And I said, hey, y'all need to stand up, both of you. You on the left, Phil. You on the right, Jay. Stand up. You're in the ball A.O. <laughs> I got a tree and bushes where I can't even see you right now. I'm talking to both of you and can't even see you. And I'm the fla- I'm the one that's flaring up. That's right. Yeah. Thank you. You used to get banished to the dog for that move. Oh, I wouldn't mind. I know, because I, I went with you. Yeah, I didn't mind. Hey, I banish me to the dog. Yeah, I go over there and kill fun. You'll kill ducks and have fun and laugh while I'm over there. For our listeners, that's the name of one of our duck holes: the dog, yeah. dog by you. We're not talking about a literal dog. <laughs> I don't know. It kind of is like a dog. <laughs> not a good, I, an old oh, mangy hey. one. Yeah, an old mangy one. Yeah. But you oh, kill yeah. them out there eventually. Oh, yeah. oh, you right. stick with them long enough, you kill them. Yeah. Well, you we may used, be there till dark. Yeah, it used to be real good because it was about 10,000 right on the other side of Phil's property line on Dog Bow. Mm-hmm. You know, belonged to George Franklin, and he held about 10,000. Acres? And, and he didn't really hunt. Now only about 7,000 ducks come to Louisiana. Yeah, I think so. If that on acres. Hey, we got about four or 500 blue wings well, right no, now. No, no, that's what you was telling me. Mm-hmm. Which, uh, like I looked, I had to look at my watch, 22nd of August. Yeah, they're about 30 days early. Yeah, yeah they, are, <laughs> they are early. These are the early birds. Yeah, because we usually don't start sitting watching for them, you know, like the first week of September. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Phil out there may be, uh, you know. You know what, another name for that sitting before season, watching for ducks Another name for that is? Uh-oh. What? Scaring them off. 
<laughs> Flaring them. Well, well, well right. anyway, you know, last year was such a, a, a struggle for everybody, duck, duck hunter wise. But uh, Jay sent me on this scouting mission. It was about a half a mile up the slough. And well, about, about three quarters of a mile. And this one area we thought we saw a group of ducks go down. And when he went with me to go see what was up there. So I paddled up there in the P row. I saw what was there. I came back. He said, what, what was up there? I said, one matter Jake. <laughs> and he said, you want to try to kill him tomorrow? <laughs> 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 I, I knew what was coming when he he said what's up there he said uh, one matter drake I, I knew what the next question was gonna be are we gonna hunt there tomorrow to kill him tough times uh, oh, yep. it's tough. we are we went five days without killing a duck <laughs> and i looked at phil i said what about it phil he said well <sighs> I ain't got nothing else to do. <laughs> I ain't on set of town. We actually took one day off of duck season this year. That wasn't a Sunday. <laughs> and it was right after that four or five day run without pulling the trigger. Well, that, oh, yeah, and torrential downpour. I remember that. Yeah. Yeah. Just like it's doing out there today. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If y'all oh, wonder why Johnny D shirt's two tone, yeah. <laughs> it ain't from sweat. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's a little sweat. A little sweat. We got seven pallets in about. 20 minutes before I had to leave, and we don't we don't have a loading dock, per uh, se. Uh, so I was just out in the rain slinging boxes around. Hashtag well, family hey, business. What yeah. would you estimate of what we got rain-wise? Right now? Yeah. A bunch. Today? Yeah. I don't know. It's a bunch. Inch and a half, two inches? Yeah. I, I don't know. It, it's a lot. I would say two inches. It fell in a hurry, yeah, too. Yeah, because when I got in my truck to come up here, I mean, the ditch, that guy had just mowed it. And he mowed it down to the ground, you know, dirt dirt showing everywhere. How much that cost you? Uh, it just cost me nothing. This is the... This parish. Great. Oh, parish. Oh, yeah. I thought you were talking about your yard. No, yeah. no. Oh, don't even go there. No. They're, they're ripping me off big time there. <laughs> but, hey, yard care is a rip off anyway nowadays. I used yeah. to mow a five-acre field, and it's a woman's yard. She called it a yard for $5 with a push mower. Five acres. Hey, with a you five get, acres hey, with a push you mower? Get, you get a yard my size, that's $400. Your what? yard ain't even that big, huh? No, it ain't big. big. You talk about four. It's smaller than a lot. You pay $400 yeah, at, for it. a month? or Oh, no. Every time he mows it. I'll do, no it I who is, who is this, who is oh, I will do it for 300 Who is this human? I ain't worried about that. Are they related be, to you? Uh, no, they ain't related to me. They just got a mowing your uh, yard. Care. Is their yard service a non-profit? Huh? I'm just trying hey, to figure I'm out just, the I'll tax benefit. I'll do it for benefit. $300 tomorrow. Oh, right, yeah, I won't even give you a bid, $250. Right. Sight unseen. Right. Yeah. I ain't say doing that. $225. <laughs> yeah. Crap. Jones, Race to gone. the bottom, hey, boys. He's going. <laughs> all of y'all. Ah, you talked me into it. Two hundred. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Four hundred dollars. Oh. Get your yard mower. I bought a whole hey. lawn mower for a thousand dollars. Well, hey, look, I'm telling you, and it's these a good guys one. that mow yards are getting filthy rich. And I'm serious. If they hustling, they are. No, no, I'm serious. They're getting filthy rich because they're hustling. The hustling. Hey, they you. drive up on a truck, big truck. If I can I find five ewes a month, hey, I'm doing pretty good. Look here. Got a trailer behind them with three or four mowers on it. Oh, I know it. Yeah. Oh, I'm, you doing one of them big operations. Guy, that, hey, I'll tell you what's got. The guy that did mow it, he just retired. Hmm. Let's mm -hmm. tell you how good they are, okay? He just retired. He's about 40. Okay, and retired. Well, I'm going for, to know yard. Good for him. Hey, Is it, it was him, him and his wife. It took them about, oh, I'd say, what, 10 minutes to mow it. Mow your yard? Yeah. They backed them things off. I heard, boo, 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 I ain't even got out of bed yet. 1030 in the morning. Hey, no, no. I, I had just got up, and hey, they loaded up and heading out. Gone. Gone. And they done weed-eated and mowed and everything. All of it. All of it. And gone. Four hundred dollars. Four hundred dollars. Four hundred. So think about that. They must. They may have spent twenty minutes there. Yeah. Well, hey, two hundred for ten minutes. That ain't bad. I'd do no. it. Hey, 
twelve hundred an hour. That's yeah, more well, than I, I get paid. Sir. And look, and I mean, he's on down the road and pulling in and doing the same thing at somebody else's yard. Except they they get charged one hundred and fifty. <laughs> oh, hey, I'm telling you, hey, they're making a killing. Oh yeah, I got a lot of questions. I, I just sent Chris, Christine a text. We'll find out for sure. <laughs> hey, she'll tell you. Ooh. Hey, she'll tell you. We're fact checking him, boys. She, hey, she, the truth hey. sayer's back. Well, let's take a break. We'll be back right after this. <laughs> I mean, don't you like eating good meat? I love good meat. I know Stone does. I know Cy does, and Cy ain't going to cook it, but he'll eat it. But he'll order it, and then he'll take it to Stone's house. He'll order it and put it shipped to Stone's house, and then say, call me when it's ready. Make something happen. Hey, I'm just telling you right now, if you want some of the best meat you've ever had, our friends over at Moint got it figured out. There's just no doubt about it. As long as we've been doing this, we get boxes of meat, and I, I... it's still it's still some of it's the best i've ever had their their whole chickens are fantastic but moink delivers grass-fed and grass-finished beef and lamb pastured pork and chicken and sustainable wild-caught alaskan salmon straight to your door moink farmers farm like our grandparents did and as a result moink meat tastes like it should because the family farm does it better there's no denying that the moink difference is a difference you can taste and you can feel good knowing you're helping family farms stay financially independent too you choose the meat delivered in every box you want ribeyes, get ribeyes. You want chicken breasts, get chicken breasts. Yes. You want pork chops. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Salmon fillets, all of it. You like can do it. Out. And the cool thing is you can cancel anytime. I don't know why you wouldn't join the Moink movement today. We have. We're so glad that we did. Look, Shark Tank host Kevin O'Leary called Moink's bacon the best bacon he's ever tasted. And Ring Doorbell founder Jamie Siminoff jumped at the chance to invest in Moink. Plus, they guarantee you're going to say, oink, oink. I'm just so happy. On Moink. I got Moink. That's it. Look, and we know that you will, too. Keep American Farming going by signing up at moinkbox.com slash duck right now. And listeners of this show get free filet mignon in every order for a year. That's one year of the best filet mignon you'll ever taste. But for a limited time, spelled M-O-I-N-K box.com slash duck. That's moinkbox.com slash duck, boys. Okay, y'all ready for the truth? <laughs> yep. Oh. yep. Christine, say? baby. <laughs> what did the she say? That, the woman that pays the bills at your house. What'd she say? Uh, I asked her how much y'all be in charge to get your yard mowed. She said $75. <laughs> she, she, she's doing this. When they just mow. But she, she's doing one, this just to say that. $100 when they spray the driveway. So. Another twenty five for chemicals and whatnot. And the truth shall set yeah, <laughs> shall set you free. Well, there's something going on fishy here. I gotta check in. Uh-oh. Cause I signed a check for four hundred. Uh, <laughs> Maybe that was for the whole summer. You, that ought to make oh, hey. you. That ought to make you feel better, Si. That, that. No, now I'm wondering what's going on. <laughs> My offer for two hundred still stands. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Uh, she, Oh, man. That's hilarious. Good grief. Here we are, man. It's almost daggum hunting season. We at the end of August. I'm about to be, where did it, I'm about to be 37, man. I was fixing to say, where did it go? 37. Yeah. It goes fast. And still ain't got no kid. It's bone. <laughs> about to. Yeah, about to. My dog's about to be 14. And look, hunting season open, and then the next day, next day it feel like the next day it closed. Huh? No, it don't ever feel like Oh, it. no, it doesn't make By the end of day six. That's because you only go four or five days now. Yeah, well, hey. when you hunt once a week. Well, hey, I, hey, look, I've I've spent my time in the duck blind riding the hole, as my brother likes to put it. Okay. <laughs> Them days day. is behind you, ain't it? Yeah, yeah, from daylight to dark. He five. I gave up on that about four or five years ago. Well, hey, you, you, as you get older... <laughs> You're supposed to get a little bit smarter, and I have. I've got a little bit smarter. I'm proud of you. I found as you get older, you get more ornery. Uh, no, you just get smarter. He hadn't got more ornery. I don't get ornery. My wife is sending me ornery twice. <laughs> okay, and I had very good reason both times. Well, well, I ain't gonna say that's in the past. I'm, in, sir. I'm interested. <laughs> no, he said he's interested. This he is an hour long show. We he doesn't want to get on anymore, man. He's that's not, fine. He's a happy go lucky. I'm, I'm 14 year old I'm, trapped I'm, in this old box. That's right. Seven, I'm cool with that. But look, body. Johnny D, while we were waiting on you to get here, oh, sorry. Yeah. No, that's fine. Hey, business happened. Right. The man had a drink. Oh, I, I need, no, I no, need no. Si. I, 
How would you like to be put on a spaceship? Interested. Taken up to space, and then they just open the door and kick your butt out. Not interested. <laughs> and then drive off. <laughs> and then drive off. And then drive off. Hey, I seen some that happened to some woman in Balkanville not too long ago. <laughs> spaceship? No, no. Were there aliens? Well, it was a pickup truck, a spaceship. They they started slowing down, <laughs> swerving, and, and the trash started flying out the window. I didn't mean to interrupt your story. I'm sorry. No, that's but, fine. But, uh, and the next thing you know, the passenger door come open, and out rolled this woman. <clears throat> And they was going about 25. She did about two forward rolls, popped up, and made a beeline towards this guy. Oh, it, it was quite the thing. And you saw this? Quite the spectacle. I was right behind them. <laughs> That's amazing the things I'm oh, no, 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 no. do these days. But, hey. but I didn't see that until I got to Balkanville. <laughs> so, hey, when you head south <laughs> on 34. You better watch out. Watch out. Go look, yo. Where do duck, you live? Duck say, "Hey, <laughs> he I live south there. on thirty four. <laughs> <laughs> and hey, let me tell you, this boy has seen some oh, things. Boy, he's seen it. Okay, one morning going duck hunting. Hey, something okay. when you get to that levee, things change. Oh no, hey, I'm telling you. You get to that levee right there, you're like, yeah, you oh know, boy. You've heard of uh, uh, I had a woman one time in in Vegas said, uh, "Hey, you spend a lot of time out in the wilderness." Well, hey, when you go to South on six thirty four, yeah, that's wilderness. Oh yeah, yeah it's kind of like Book of Eli stuff. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. this is biblical. Mad mm -hmm. Max. Okay, look, one other time it was two times. I normally just drive down and don't worry about it. Okay, so I come driving down Red Cut Loop. Okay, in this dark, four thirty a.m. in the morning. Okay, no lights anywhere except my truck lights. Then the next thing I know, I'm lights in my face. Here comes a car out of nowhere coming up behind me, you know, and tries to go around me, which, no, nah, wrong answer. You know, I stomped that Chevrolet out of driving and left him. Well, from then on, when I go down that road, I got a pistol loaded with hollow points <laughs> on my feet in case the idiots show up again. On your feet? On my feet. Oh, on your seat. Yeah. Well, hey, guess what? They showed us the next day, and I said, well, I'm fixing to get, go to the pen because I'm fixing to have to kill these idiots. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably just me going around you. It was probably Mark. No, no, it wasn't Mark. No, this no was, you're right. I ain't that early. No, no. no, 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 no. <laughs> Definitely wasn't Willie. No. It ain't, no. No. Uh, no. Uh, that would have had to have been about sunup. Oh, I've seen some strange things going down 34. That's amazing what Drano can do. Oh, no, no. I'm telling you. <laughs> hey, and whatever else they get hold of. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, Kids man. don't do drugs. Let's take another break. Well, we'll and then we'll back. get back to this story about floating in space. Well, oh, yeah. we'll, get, we'll get back to the South 34 natives. Look, level with me. We've all been in a situation at some point in our lives where we were just a little tight on cash. I mean, it, it don't always free flow. Sometimes sometimes we get in a little bit of a bind. Look, where you can only afford to put a few gallons of gas in your tank or, you know, you got another save the date and wondering how you're going to afford a gift or Hey, hey, I got a. Maybe you want to eat something other than pizza. I got an invitation to a baby shower yesterday. Did you? Mm -hmm. That's baby what's up. You're you babies. You need to go to it. Look, <laughs> if if you need help buying them something, do we have the answer for you? Our friends over at Dave help you do that. Look, Dave is the banking app that can help you get up to five hundred dollars instantly with extra cash. That's more money to fill your tank, buy a wedding gift, or in this case. A baby shower gift. Look, kids need new shoes, Johnny D. I don't want to hear nothing. Or catch up on bills. You can finally tackle those expenses that have been stressing you out without any hangups. There's no interest and no credit check needed. Millions of people have already downloaded the Dave app to get the financial relief they need with extra cash. So if you're in a pinch and need some extra help, download Dave and think of it as a helping hand from the future you download the dave app from the app store right now that's d-a-v-e sign up for an extra cash account and get up to five hundred dollars instantly for terms and conditions go to dave.com slash legal instant transfer fees apply banking provided by evolve member fdic the future you will thank you so si we took a little trip through space there also <laughs> known as balkanville well, okay, but seven one two nine two, out, and the outskirts of Luna. Hey, hey, but back to your drink. Yeah, back to my drink. So okay. you're in a space. That's what happened to me. 
They put me on spaceship, took me up in space. Were I, you with Elon Musk? I, no, and they kicked me out. <laughs> Were there okay, any? Closed the doors, and then next time I see, they're they going away. And you didn't know anybody there? Oh, well, no, no, I couldn't see nothing. Okay, I'm in the void of space, okay? <laughs> now, in the spaceship? Hi. No. Was it no, aliens or no. humans? No, it was humans. Okay. How many hey, of them? The human race did it to me. <laughs> That's why I'm just oh, making yeah. sure you okay, weren't a The human race did it to me. But anyway, guess what? When I woke up, first thing I did, I went in and got my Bible, turned to Genesis 1 1, and read about creation. So it, now, now I understand it when I read it better, okay? It's dark and formless, there's nothing, there, it's a void. Well, I've been there now, <laughs> so I understand it. Okay, okay. he's yeah. been to the void. That's it. So, you read your Bible once you woke up. Oh yeah. What did you do while you was floating and said void? Just went with it. <laughs> did you go anywhere cool? I, oh yeah. <laughs> you like, well, it was cool void. being up there. Could you see now, the Earth? No, you can't see nothing. Oh, you were you were in deep space. Oh yeah, it's dark. And formless, void. There's nothing there. <laughs> well, then you got to ask the question, where did all this stuff come from that's here? So that's what drove you to Genesis. That's what drove me to Genesis. I had to read the account of it then. Man, Makes sense. I'd like to take a loop around space with Sada. Oh, no, no. Look, I, <laughs> I'd hey, like to just watch look, his dreams like look, on TV. I, I don't want to be in them. When I get to the heaven... Yep. I see Jesus face to face as the Lord. I'm going to take me a hiatus for about three months. <laughs> that's it? Yeah. That's you got it. eternity. No no, no, no. And then I'm going to say, hey, and the reason I'm doing it, I want to see the rest of what you created. I just got a glimpse of it now. I want to take a little trip, you know, interstellar traveler. Well, I mean, I would think you'd go a little bit longer than three months, so. No. I mean, you got eternity. I, I, will be, I will be, you know, three months of seeing it will be enough. <laughs> Cause I won't even touch it either, okay? Cause we're we're getting just a snippet, well, like this podcast. Y'all just get a snippet of me in this podcast. You know, there's way more. Eternity than awaits boy. for those there's that make way it to more heaven. To this boy than meets the eye. Boy, you ain't ever said nothing more true in your life. <laughs> Gotta love it. What are you gonna do for the next thousand years uh, after your three months is up? Then you got you oh, know, hey, it eternity. Ain't no it ain't no telling. Yeah, that's the good part about it. We. We have not got a clue. The next three months, he's going to be with Peter confirming all these stories. Hey, well, he, he planned out three months, <laughs> oh, and he's hey, got eternity hey, to go. I'm going to tell Peter, hey, it's okay, brother. I understand. I'd be the same way he was. Yeah. Hey, yeah. <laughs> he really would have been. I, I, you know, he'd been jumping off boats, swimming oh, naked. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Trying to find yeah, I'd have been dumb enough to say, okay, wait a minute, I'm coming. <laughs> and then and he'd then, have been like, then, no, it wasn't me. Then my faith would waver and I'd say, oh, help, help, help. Help, I'm sinking. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Bible jokes. Oh, man. Well, no, I'm just saying. But you got to, you know, that's like me and asking the thing about what, you know, since Jesus was a human being, a male human being. Yeah, nobody mm -hmm. ever thought about it. When I told Jace, Jace said, I thought of that too. Of course he did. Yeah, of course he did. Tommy Topper. <laughs> <You know. laughs> That's what I was when I asked him about, well, what, what blood group is, uh, is Jesus? And it's just too much. He's, he's, he's got it all. He's light. He's life. Okay. He's resurrection power. Okay. And then you got to throw in. Oh, negative. He's light, light life, resurrection. And Universal donor. Positive. Blood tack, boys. He's positive. That's it. He's positive. Everything he does is positive. I like it. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm fired up. <laughs> My little space trip last night fired me up. Oh, that was last night. Uh, oh, yeah. He, oh. Was, he was in the no, void and last I, night. The night before, it was on resurrection because I watched that alligator attack that guy from Florida. <laughs> 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 I saw that that's too. All, that's a bad deal. No, no, that's all I can think about. Wait, I said, hold it. Wait, wait this that, guy. I, I thought this was like PBS Planet Earth. No, no, mm -mm. no, no. Mm -mm. This was just the news, which I rarely watch, but I clicked it on, and and I, what I see is a guy swimming past just the dock, wooden dock. I shouldn't. He's have swimming. Like you that. can see him, but 
at the same time, he's alive. He, he's splashing, but there's something swimming <laughs> toward him. Big. Well, and what it was was a 12 foot mama alligator, and she's got a nest nearby. So she just eats this dude up. I'm talking yeah, about. No. Yeah. Oh, where, no. Where was this? Oh, no. Thing? His whole Lord. head is nothing but staples and scars. But he got away from her. And That's survived. what amazed me. I yeah. apologize for laughing. I thought this was a PBS. Oh, no, no, no. This, no. Ain't no no, PBS. this is a real this ordeal. Real, yeah. real. This is a real deal. Yeah, this is one of the best topwater bites. Oh, yeah. See. Yeah, it's a topwater bite. And it was a good one. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> he, he survived it. He, oh, yeah, he, he's got a, he got away from her. That's what was so amazing. And look, the whole night I was laying there talking about, yeah, that guy will die probably. But don't worry about it. Resurrection's coming. And that was your dream? That was my dream. There you go. Hmm. Yeah, I, I saw I, that on the interwebs this week. Oh, no. I don't, I don't watch the news. Anymore. Oh, no. I got all fired up about it. <laughs> it's just voice. Along with it. Never mind. I ain't going to say right. that thing that it led me down a deep hole on the internet. But Ooh. There's a picture of some killer whales jumping. I don't know if y'all have seen them yet, but it's it's very intriguing. But I'll oh, let you find yeah, that the black and white ones? Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they're pack hunters. They are. Sea wolves. Yeah, sea wolves is what Sea wolves. Yeah. Yeah. They're there. And all they're slick now. Because it showed them they heard it was a mama. Uh, yeah. Can't think of the name of the whale. Yeah. Can't think of the name of it. But anyway, a mama and a, and a calf. Mm hmm. Well, they keep going and messing with her until they separate the calf and they kill the calf. And they eat it? Yeah. Mama couldn't. No. Because, hey, look, then a bunch of dolphins come up, wouldn't let them either. Really? Yeah. Hmm. The dolphins run the stupid killer whales off. Which I thought know. was cool. Yeah. There he is. He, JD got That's crazy. I just watched the dude. Oh, no, no. Sir, I apologize for laughing. I did not realize what hey. the severity of what we were talking about. And yeah. look, that was a 12 footer. Yeah. Oh, he 500 got, plus pounds. He got an attack. He mm -hmm. got got. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm yeah. glad you're doing okay, sir. Yeah. Oh, no. Is yeah, he doing he, okay? Well, that was amazing. He's doing about. better. He was smiling in the picture oh, I yeah. saw in the hospital. Yeah, and he even said, hey, that's just one of God's creatures. Now, his head was put together like a jigsaw puzzle. Oh, no, no, no. It looked rough. He was stapled. an Air Force veteran and firefighter paramedic. Yeah. Thank you, sir, for your service. Good grief. And, hey, great escape. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I'm serious. That was, I was impressed. You know, this was like a Mission Impossible thing, boy. That's a boys. great escape. Yeah, well, hey, it's like Mission Impossible. He said he felt like he get, got hit by a telephone pole with teeth. Oh, yeah. Oh, I bet. That's pretty. Oh, this I, I would amazing. say that's pretty spot on. That's an amazing thing. That he know? got away. That yeah. he got away from her. And he heard to tell that story. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Regardless. You know, and, wasn't, hey, and didn't have no ill effect toward the alligator. No. You know, that's. Yeah, you know, it, uh, it just, it amazed me. I mean, it'd make you want to get a belt or some shoes or something made out of one. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'd go for that one. <laughs> yeah. I'd be on the hunt. You'd be like Happy Gilmore? There'd be <laughs> rotten chicken breasts hanging all over trees <laughs> everywhere <laughs> around there. <laughs> yeah, that's a big one. Oh, yeah, boy. I'm I think it's alligator season in Florida, too, so they ought to be what, You know what they ought to do? Get, get him a tag and start a YouTube show on the hunt on getting revenge. On on that that, that on very that, specific. That one no, specific. that guy ain't that type of person. He yeah. said, "No, the title of it is it ain't revenge. It's a reckoning. It's a reckoning. It's that's a right. reckoning. <laughs> it's a get even. <laughs> I, I, I'm here to make things right. That's why. Yeah. That's Robertson technology. Get even, boy. We don't yeah. get mad. He wants to grab her by the head, shake her a couple of times, okay. and let her go. Yeah, you know. But that was an amazing part to me that he actually got away from her. Mm. Oh, so he was, was that, exercising. Yeah, he was just swimming. Yeah. He was training for a triathlon, yeah. so he's just swimming through a lake and then didn't see it, and then shawam, and then swam away. He was still in the water. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, she tried to, she grabbed him and then done the death row with him. Mm. That's what they said on the news. Yeah. And he got away, that's what got me. He got away from her when she done that. That's you know, and I've seen, I've seen photographs of, of uh, our films of of crocodiles, you know, it was a some kind of uh, wildebeest, uh, 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 <laughs> gazelle mm -hmm. in a river in a in a tree. Well, it shows one of them big crocodiles come up there and just grab it and start rolling to just tore it in half. You know, so 
And you the know, man got away. Yeah, and the man got away, and I was looking, and I said, ooh, ooh good grief, you know, yeah, that's pretty amazing. Mm. That's oh. crazy. Unreal. Yeah. Well, let's take another break. Yeah. We'll be back right after this. You know, me and Gollum were up in Minnesota a couple of weeks, the home of Mike Lindell. Everybody there was fired up by Mike, too. Uh-oh. They all got pillows. They all got pillows. Hey, hey. They got slippers. Sheets. They got them per cow sheets. Towels? Yeah. All of it. Because why wouldn't you? You know, I mean, we've all used them now. Well, hey, hey. I could have used it when I was up kicking out in space. What's that? A pillow. You was going to take you a nap while yeah. you was floating uh, in hey. the middle of hey. space? Hey. Sleep hey. Well, on your my nice. pillow. Hey. That's why you had such a great dream. Well, there you go. That, hey, I didn't even think of it like that. Man. But look, the coolest thing is, if you want to try what we're talking about, <laughs> right now, my pillow's having their biggest bed sheet sale ever. The my pillow per kale sheets are available in a variety of colors and different sizes too. All sizes are on okay. sale. That's right. So whether you're down there in the twin or you up there to California King, they it, all man. on sale. For example, right now, the queen size sheets are regularly priced at $89.98, and right now, they're only $39.98 with promo code DUCK at MyPillow.com slash DUCK. Order now because they have a very limited supply. The MyPillow Percale sheets are breathable and have a cool, crisp feel. They have deep pockets to fit over any mattress, and they come with a 10-year warranty and a 60-day money-back guarantee. You ain't going to need it because once you sleep on them, you'll be like, now I ain't sending this back. Hey, that's that's a $40 saving. Boy, is that your saving? Yeah, and if At you do least. the quick math, it's fifty. Well, hey, <laughs> there you go. What if you do it right? You've got to check out the great specials <laughs> now from my pillow. Go to mypillow.com slash duck and use promo code duck to get up to sixty six percent off and get the my pillow per kale sheets for as low as twenty nine ninety eight. Again, just go to mypillow.com slash duck and use promo code Hey, duck. Or call 800 969 3137 and use promo code. And save duck. And save $50 worth, boys. Duck is the promo code. <laughs> hey, hey. Order now because when they're gone, they're gone. They go. Duck. Does he know the cost of anything if he doesn't know how much he pays to mow his yard? Who, Cy? Si? Cy? Si? No, he doesn't know the cost of anything. No. no. It doesn't matter to him. No, it don't matter. Okay, well, that's what... He's 74. Yeah. Christine but. texted Stone. He just sent it to me. And she said he has no idea what anything costs. That's right. That's it. Capital no exclamation point. Yeah. There you go. No idea. <laughs> and, and I don't care. How about that? <laughs> You're going to pay it anyway. I'm going to pay it anyway, so hey, why well, care? There you go. That's good. All right, just shut up, write the check, bud. <laughs> and I'll sign it. And I'll, I'll, hey, there you go. I'll Don't sign wait. it. Fill it out. You got it filled out? Good. Bring it here. Done. Mm. Put the signature on it. Big get time. Out. That's yeah. a good spot to get to in life. Hold on. Me, I'm That's like, you sure we it costs that much? When I had him and Philip looking for a pickup. Yeah. And I said, well, they said, well, where would you go? I said, hey, get me a user. Well, then when I got to think about it, and they come up with a, what they I would pay for a used one, I said, "Hey, put a put a nick that used one. Give me a new one. Oh, yeah, just get a new one. There you go. I'm gonna pay that for a used one. Give me one brand new spanking nick. Mm-hmm. I just go ahead for go if you're gonna take a bite. Hey, take a full one. <laughs> <laughs> That's Make right. sure it's big. Uh, and I did. If That's you're gonna it. be a grizzly, I mean, if you're gonna be a bear, be a grizzly. <laughs> he almost got it. That's right. I almost got <laughs> if it. If you're gonna be a bear, that's right. I got it backwards. Uh, if you're gonna be, be a grizzly, be a bear. That's right. Be a bear. <laughs> oh man, alive! What, what? Where do we go from here? I don't really know. What it's a time a wild, to be alive! Well, we could say this. What weather has been wild? Yeah. This year in the weather summertime. Is... Okay. But it the always weather... it always does though. When it gets really super hot, it was hot. Because I remember when we was kids, we couldn't wait for the afternoon for it to rain and cool everything down. Because back then, when it rained, we was out in it, getting wet. Yeah. Talking about, we're going to cool off for sure, baby. We're going to get in the rain. What do you do now? I, I still do it sometimes. I, I was going to say, I figure you sleep. Oh, no, no. I don't mind getting wet. I've never really understood rain jackets and umbrellas in rain like today. 
Oh, no, no. The best it one It didn't is, help. Look here. best one is to have you a place somewhere where there's a lot of fish, like big bass. And then you know when it's going to rain, especially a light drizzle. Because we had a pond where we grew up in Dixie, Louisiana. It was in Blanchard. It was about five acres and had a lot of lily pads on it. Well, we could see it when it come from that area. It'd be get dark over there, dark clouds. We'd jump in the Falcon and grab rod and reels, and we're going, we going bass fishing to that five-acre pond when in the rain, that waist-deep water with a tiny torpedo, mm -hmm. perch-colored. Tiny torpedo. Perch-colored. I had one. The the the, the uh, what am I thinking about the, the uh, blade, the prop the, uh, on it. Well, it's it's the style. That that gosh, can't even think. Of Devil it. horse. Well, no, no, the pattern. Yeah, the pattern. Oh, oh the pattern. Okay, it's got to be the sun perch pattern. I had one that had all the colors of a sun perch. A fire tiger. But it wasn't the sun perch pattern, so I throw it. They would roll behind mine. I'd twitch it. They'd roll behind it. Phil, well, he had one with the sun perch pattern. He'd throw it right behind me. <laughs> five pounder. <laughs> I'm serious. That's how it worked, baby. I caught two bass <laughs> that afternoon. So you mean tell me them fish could see the top of that bait from under the water? No, 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 no. I'm telling you. <laughs> Careful, if it, Martin. If it's something about it's a large industry, depending hey, on people not I'm, figuring I'm that out. You, it's something about the pattern on that. Uh. When it sits in the water, I would throw mine, twitch it. He would roll right behind it. Phil would throw right back behind me and twitch his, and it would just <laughs> explode on it. <laughs> I caught two. He caught 27. 27 to two. That sounds like I it mean, might I have mean, been the hey, man behind the rod and oh, reel, no, sir. No, it wasn't the rod and reel. It wow. might have been the twitching. Nope. The, I'm saying nope. operator. Nope. It wasn't the operator. I'm telling you, they know, okay, it was the pattern. <laughs> Done it too many times. So why didn't you switch? I didn't have one. Why didn't you take his? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He's bigger than I am. Okay. <laughs> you <laughs> mean he wouldn't share? No, he wouldn't share. He stabbed well, me 27 you, to 2. Well, you know, the same thing happened to him a few, weeks, a few weeks ago when, when me and Si went to Arkansas. Uh-oh. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Stone was on fire on them big brown trout. Did he have a different I, color I, cricket? Nope. nope. Well, well, he did have a different different colored. Uh, what what was the bait you used? It's a, the that that marabou jig. Marabou that, jig. That crappie. He had a a purple marabou jig. Yeah. I had a different color. Black and purple. Black and purple. purple. He was. You know, one of them hit mine. I tell him, God, miss. But oh, you missed. Stone would do it. There he is. Three pounder. He caught about twenty seven. No, you caught about 20. So is that the jig? And how many did you no, no. catch? One. One? Yeah. Starting to see a thing One. here. One brown. <laughs> Boy, that's a pretty fish, though. Oh, they are beautiful. They are beautiful. And they get big. No, but we, had, we had we had the bunch, you know, that was fishing with us. It was two boats. He had, they caught three five-pounders, and they were really pretty. Mm-hmm. Really pretty. I'm Should have brought a tiny torpedo with you. But the the guide said, "Old Jeff, he said you got to when you're working that jig, you got to pop it. I mean, give it a good pop, and then watch your slack line. Let it hit bite the it on the fall. Pop it again. Watch your line. He's got the high vis line. Yeah. We can see it with a leader. Well, I was doing what he told me to do. So was well, over I there. called myself doing it too, but it he, evidently si was not. Sl slow rolling, and he would pop it every now and then. So, well, he hey. strapped me. Nobody said anything to him. Cause oh, no. It was, they didn't have to. <laughs> I've always found that when I get out fish, it's generally because they're better fishermen than I am. Oh, yeah. well, that, generally. That ain't true. Yeah. <laughs> I usually catch my share. But, hey, that day. Oh, he does. Uh, he does. Usually I catch my he share. He gets his most of the time. He's going to get his. Hey, yeah. Yeah. But that was a fun little trip. It was. Things get different when you ain't dragging hey, a wacky worm on. around. Don't well, no, no, because, hey, look, I'm telling you. It's all about how you present it, okay? And, hey, 
it it's you know you got to be on on your game. Oh yeah, kind of like life. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> Presentation. Yo, if matters. you ain't got like I used to be one of the greatest worm fishermen there ever was. That's right. Because I had to touch. <laughs> okay. Knew how to wiggle it. Oh no, you just you got to have the feel for it. Yeah, because they they you know some of them. Some of them, anybody can catch them in faith and just knock the fire out of them. What did you say, Sai? You said you caught a shiner on a 10-inch worm. Oh, no, 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 look. That's what kind of feel he has. I'm serious. <laughs> I'm talking about, hey, this is one shiner. of them giant purple worms. Oh, my. Okay, sister. and look, I'll guarantee you that bass was about as big as my finger, okay, and about that long. And when he hit it, I, I, and hey, I guess where he would look? Right in that fly, right in the lip. Yeah, Martin, what you? Oh, no, that's when you. That's when you got to touch. That's right. Okay, when you catch, like when you catch a big shiner, and I've caught big shiner. Sound like before. to me, another bass ate it, and that one was now, collateral damage. Now, yeah, that was what hit it. Yeah, that was the same wave when we was down there red fishing. Okay. I have no way to prove it didn't, so my, there's no my, reason my, to argue this. Hey, my first cast, okay. <laughs> it's, just like, it's just like a crappie hit me. Just boom. And when he did it, boom, I set the hook, okay, and start reeling him in. He comes on top of the water, and it's 40 pound, you know, it's 40 pounder redfish. And uh, you skiing him? I, and I, I stuck him in and really playing him. Well, he straight hook, straight and hook out, got off. Well, they put my new bait on there, threw it out there, boom, same way, just a little boom, out of there, boom. One hour and 15 minutes later, I'm still trying to get this whatever I've got on up. Okay, and hey, I finally get him, and I'm just about to see him, and then it's just <laughs> for about 150 yards. <laughs> And then I said, somebody else take over because he just whooped me. I fought him for an hour and 15 minutes. I ain't got no more left. So Jason grabs it, and he said, oh, he's fixing to, he's fixing to come up. So, hey, he just started cranking. You know, not straight and hook out and got off. Never seen it. Lot I had no idea. Life. And they asked me, they said, what was it? I said, well, I figured it was about a 100-pound redfish. <laughs> World record. Uh, world record, okay. Biggin. Biggin. You know, and I said, they said, no. I said, hey, I'm telling you, it was a redfish. We never saw it. I was there. Yeah. I can confirm the validity to this story. Oh, no. And look, when I looked up, when he got off, Jace was fighting him. I looked over. We're one mile from where I stuck him. Yeah, it's also true. And look, we're in a big boat. A lot of current. ocean-going boat. He done drug us one mile. And then, hey, bye it was bye. big, whatever it was. Yeah, bye bye. He gone. Yo, he, even even old Galt, he didn't really know what to think about that. But I, I'm serious. The way he bit, bit, I'm telling you, it was redfish, about a hundred pounder. Because he just, you know, could be. He was just swimming to where he wanted to swim, and you know, I'm along for the ride. Me and the boat. <laughs> Fishing with you, wild man. Oh no, hey, I love it. Man. It always has been. I guarantee you. Oh, no. Some of our best days was when we stuck willows in Red River. Wade out there in the middle of the river. Stick it in the middle and bait it up with live perch. Mm. But look. Wade, wade out there, you know, get them off the hook, stick stick a rope through it, tie it to them, you know, go to the next one. Well, let's bait another line and we'll be back I'm right after this. I'm about. Now, what's in the... Inbox. Whoa. Are you ready? Yeah, we ready. All right, as always, email us at hello at duckcallroom.com. I'll go through them. Pick a few. Hey, we got an update. Uh Uh-oh. You remember the kid Nick from Ohio who emailed in? He had like another job offer. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah. He didn't know if he wanted to do it. And he he, so I don't even remember the advice that we technically gave. I remember giving him advice. Um, but Uncle Sai he said he sounds like a great employee. That made him happy. But he took your advice. He said he took Martin's advice, stayed at his current job because he felt like there yeah, was. Yeah, he had two of them. He felt like there was more opportunities for growth there. Two weeks later, got a promotion, got on full time. Woo. 
We're I changing. Thought you were gonna say got fired. Oh, hey! All right. Well, yeah. Oh, hey. it's a good update. <laughs> you didn't have nothing to do with that. Well, you never know how it updates up, go. Yeah, but it was up to him. Yeah, I stuck it out two weeks. It laid me off. Yeah. Cool. What <laughs> hey? Oh, no. He, he, but he got it. Hey. There you go. Right. Raise promotion full time. Look at there, son. There you go. Stick we, it out. We gave good advice, or you gave good advice. I think I told him to move on. So way to listen to Martin. Stick it out, boys. Um, all right. Here's here's Nehemiah emails in. Nehemiah. Where's Nehemiah from? Where do you think Nehemiah's from? What? Old Testament. Oh. No. Nope. Epistle oh, probably. See, that's what I thought, but Oh Santan Valley, Arizona. Oh. Ooh. I started to say that. That's that. No idea where that's at either. Hey, um, Nehemiah from Arizona. But he loves the show. Hadn't missed the episode. Been listening and needs some advice. He's going to college. Okay. That's it. Right. Now, just, uh, I know Martin went to college. So did I. Uh, can you give me any advice for going there for my first time? He's only 17 and he's a little nervous about it. I was 17 when I went to college. Of course you were. I just got that late birthday. Like, I mean, my birthday's this week, so it's uh, like I was seventeen for like two weeks, not. Okay. But I was a seventeen-year-old in college. I was a fresh eighteen-year-old. Nah, enjoy it. Have fun, man. College is college. You'll figure out real quick if it's for you or if it's not. It's not for everybody. I, I can tell you that right now. The quicker you figure that out, the cheaper it I'll is. I raised my your... hand on that. It wasn't for me. The cheaper it is all around. That's I'm right. saying. Did like, you go to college? I tried it. Where? He went like three weeks hey. to tech. Yeah. Oh, you went to tech? I majored, I majored in girls and minored in women. <laughs> and ended up in the Army. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah. And ended up in a place called Vietnam. <laughs> and I knew it was coming. <laughs> and hey, um, look here. That's funny because hey, Uncle Sam didn't waste no time. As soon as I dropped out of college... I got the old letter talking about, guess who wants you? Yeah, you coming with me. Yeah. They sent you a letter? Uh, oh, yeah. Is that? I mean, hey, it wasn't a week after I, I quit college. Boy, they didn't know what kind of GM they got in you. Oh, what are you talking about? Golly. They, they kept me for 24 years, and then they finally got tired of me and kicked me out. <laughs> but they done me a favor. <laughs> oh. They did. I was getting pretty lippy by then. They got lippy. No, that's uh, all I got for him, though. Just figure out what you want to do. Try to do it. But you ain't got to do nothing your freshman year, like. Yeah, Take all the except, classes, figure out where you want to go. Show up for class. Show up. Yeah, you yeah. got to go. But I'm yeah. saying like. Well, see, I didn't learn that. Declare a major and all that. Eh, yeah. I mean, you I can if wait. you know yeah. what truly interests you. Yeah. But Now, you know, go a couple of say, go a couple of years before you even decide what you're going to be. Two semesters anyway. Get yeah. through the introductory classes because they all the same for everybody. Yeah. Uh-huh. Unless you clep out of them and stuff like that. But, you played baseball in college, didn't you, Stone? Yeah, I played a couple of years in Juco ball. A little bit? Yeah. Any college advice? <laughs> grief. Well, I would say <clears throat> try to stay focused on what's important. I was fixing I got one word. Because there are a lot, a lot of distractions. Yeah. Lot. I got one word for you for college. Perseverance. Endeavor. To Endeavor persevere. to persevere. Perseverance. <laughs> I'm serious. Perseverance. Okay. Uh, cause like, hey, because like Stone said, yeah. there are a lot of real pretty distractions at college. You're the one that said that, sir. Well, hey, I'm telling <laughs> yeah. you. Stone never said that at all. Well, Stone hey, said yes, I he played did. Baseball yes, he did. He yeah. just didn't they put focused. it he just didn't yeah. put it truthfully. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And look, don't let nothing surprise you that you may see in college. Especially nowadays. Especially <laughs> nowadays. Yeah, he doesn't say what college okay. he's going to, but Arizona uh, that the great stair of Arizona known has for, got a great college. For right. party in schools, isn't it? There's a couple of them over there. Hey, they're I'm all, pretty sure. They're all party schools. I don't pay attention in Pac twelve schools. That's oh boy. He ain't there. Um he he ain't I went there. to college forever. Uh, my, my only advice is don't try. Don't be the guy that ends up with a four year degree in three and a half years and then realizing. Oh, I've got a buddy. That's that not he, what you want to do with your. He's life. a professional student. <laughs> Who me? Oh no, I'm serious. I got a buddy. He's still in college. <laughs> what? He's the same age I am. <laughs> that's not <laughs> true. I'm, hey, I'm serious. The boy he became a professional student. I'll be. What? How much does that pay? 
I don't know. <laughs> he may have inherited a bunch of money, but he I'm telling you, he's still in school. He's still good I'm, for him. And I don't know how many degrees he's got. You know, he's got a just track, more than one. Yeah. You know, oh yeah. He's got a bunch of them. What he, else you got? BA, uh, Mongo Heavy? I think he actually went for the his doctorate. <laughs> He's still going. Now. I'm serious. Still going for it. He's still just seventy five years old. Hey, seventy four. I'm gonna be a doctor one day. I got a real heavy one. Oh, you want to do it? Well, let's go with a heavy one. But I think it's a, a quick answer. Hey, I'm heavy. Uh -oh. Let's go. Oh, he's um, heavy. and I and I get where this dude's coming from because he's in a tough spot. Um, get and when I say a quick answer is it because the answer is just. Really not easy is why I think. Oh, it's easy. Trust me. Yeah. Gary from Swindon, United Kingdom, our friends right. over across the pond. A Brit. Um, his best man and his best friend uh, had some tough times following on, and his best friend decided to take his own life. Ooh, that's rough one. Yep. Um, so he's upset, obviously. Um, he's mad. That dude, his friend never really tried to contact him, and he didn't see it coming at all. Um, and he's worried that he might never see him again whenever there's a change of address, as we like to say, mm. is how he put it. Mm. Um, that, sir, will be left up to one entity. Yep. And it ain't us. And mm. it ain't us. That's kind of why I said okay, it's that is Okay, that is a tough one, but that's God's call. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, because only God knew his heart. Okay, and I know why you're mad. You're angry, okay, that number one, and you got kind of a guilt complex, you didn't see it. Okay, number two, he was your friend, and he didn't think enough to call you and talk to you about it, which you may have could have talked him out of it. Yeah. A lot of that stems from embarrassment, though. But, so. you know, it's one of them things, because I, I lost a nephew that did the same thing. Yeah. Okay, and it it's a uh, it's a uh, shocking is all I can say. Okay, because it it comes from nowhere, and then it happens, and there's nothing you can do about it. Yeah, I lost a cousin. Same thing. Yeah. Never knew. Yeah. Till and you wouldn't let happen. You wouldn't know. Yeah. So. Okay, because there wasn't you know there wasn't a lot of signs saying oh yeah I've got a lot of problems. No, this guy was happy-go-lucky, okay? And it just, it blew everybody, you know, it surprised everybody. Yeah. Okay? So so it's one of them things, and if he was close to you, he was a friend, okay? I'm sorry about your loss, okay? But don't have no guilt complex over this on it. Yeah. You may have not, even if you had a new, you may not could have done nothing about it. Yeah, odds are he couldn't have. So, yeah. you know, that's one of them things, man. We ain't the judge. There is a judge and we ain't him. Yeah. So, And ain't, no matter how you see it. Ain't for us to determine. It ain't for us to determine. All we and, all we have is the we know that God has grace for anything. Mm -hmm. There's nothing that Jesus' blood can't cover. Yep. Uh, so, you know, we're all rooting for everybody to get there, no matter their situation and when it ends or how it ends. We, we hope there was some point in there. We're getting there by his grace and his mercy, period. Yeah. Okay. Hopefully there that's, before the end, there was a moment everybody. of clarity of some sort. Yeah. And, you know, whatever that may be, not for me to determine. Yeah. Not, not not our call. And not, yeah. Or anyone on this earth's call. <laughs> no, it's wild, man. It's Yeah, it's a crazy deal. That's It's always a tough one to deal with. Uh -huh. I mean, like I said, when it happened to my cousin, we were like, huh? Yeah. Like, yeah. dude, what? You know, but yeah, and, and I, I kind of wanted to do that email because it is super heavy. Yeah. But we have gotten a few emails in on that topic, and I'm just yeah. like, ooh, that's heavy. So if you are struggling with that in any way, reach out, reach to out somebody to a friend, yep. to a your parents, yep. to a brother, to a sister, Heck, somebody you don't even know. Go to a random church that has a cross on it, and just go in there and say, I need some help here. Um, Talk to somebody. We love you, and we don't want uh, you to face that alone. Because facing it alone is tough. Yeah. So talk to somebody for sure. Amen. No, that's, yep. It's an all-too-common thing these days. Mm -hmm. That's for sure. Unreal. 
Well, well, what you got for I us? I got Rob? us a little encouragement Bible verse uh, that kind of goes along with Sai's favorite word, perseverance. Uh, <laughs> Philippians three thirteen and fourteen, brothers and sisters, I do not consider myself yet to have taken hold of it, but one thing I do: forgetting what is behind and straining towards what is ahead, I press on toward the goal, perseverance, to win the prize for which God has called me heavenward in Christ. Jesus. Amen. That That's pri- a good one. That prize is eternity. Yep. And we That's know what size is going to be doing for three months of it. Yeah. Yeah. He already got the first three months schedule. That's why. That's it, boys. <laughs> Interstellar traveler. I think I'm going to be a little more uh, choosy. What's the no? I guess you don't need to be choosy. No, uh, not not sporadic. What's the? Uh, I don't know what the word is. Let's go with the flow. Spontaneous. Spontaneous. Oh. Yeah. What do you want to do today? Don't know. What are you doing know. tomorrow? Ain't got a clue. I don't know, Noah. But, it's your call. <laughs> yeah. Let's ride, though. Let's go look at that boat. <laughs> Why'd you put them skeeters on there, son? You should lift them off. But Yeah, but anyway. just think of all of them, because I've looked on some of the PBS, especially, <laughs> showing some of the stuff that they, they're they spotted out in the universe, all the lights. Uh-huh. Okay. You know, they've got what, nebulars, I think is what they call them. Yeah, nebula. Yeah, nebula. Yeah, you know, just yeah. You know, I want to go see all that. Yeah, go surfing, buddy. Yeah, get out there in that black hole. Let well, them kick you out to let them kick you out the bus. Hold on, back oh, to hey, the point. Hey, <laughs> it won't matter then. Oh, you can fly. <laughs> That's you right. You just get hey. to flapping, son. That's they right. Got hey. and I won't need wire. a spaceship, baby. <laughs> all right, we'll see y'all I'm next time. I'm looking for warmer rainers. Warmer rainers. <laughs> <laughs>